It is not the speech. It is the actual data itself that he is seeking and downloading and disseminating and disclosing to members of the media and frankly, to who else? That is Columbus City Attorney Zach Klein explaining the city's decision to sue the cybersecurity expert who revealed what information is now on the dark web. That information was leaked following July's cyber attack against the city. 10 TV has been covering the fallout from this cyber attack since then. Thanks for joining us at five. Good to see you. I'm Andrew Kinsey and I'm Yolanda Harris. Now 10 TV has also been talking to that cybersecurity expert Connor Goodwolf. Tonight we're learning more about what the city lawsuit accuses him of. 10 TV's Tara DeBoer joins us in studio tonight with new details. Tara. Well, Yolanda, the city has been tight lipped on what data was leaked. And at one time, the mayor said the majority of the stolen data was totally unusable. Goodwolf was able to prove that that wasn't true, showing us the personal and private information of Columbus citizens. City attorney Zach Klein says it's his duty to protect public safety. He believes this temporary restraining order against Goodwolf will do that. City Attorney Zach Klein clearly passionate about filing a temporary restraining order against Connor Goodwolf, a private citizen who showed 10 TV the personal and private data of citizens, employees and police in the city of Columbus. This is not about freedom of speech or whistleblowing. This is about the downloading and disclosure of stolen criminal investigatory records. This effect is to get him to stop downloading and disclosing stolen criminal records to protect public safety. Klein insists it's not about limiting free speech. It is the downloading and disclosing and the dissemination to you as members of the media, but also to God knows who else that really jeopardizes the identity of these individuals and an ongoing criminal case. The city is claiming Goodwolf wrongfully downloaded and disseminated the data. They call it an invasion of privacy, negligence, civil conversion, and are demanding at least $25,000. This all comes after on Wednesday, Goodwolf sounded the alarm of the crime matrix database on the dark web from the Columbus Division of Police. FOP President Brian Steele says the officers and undercover officers are worried. They don't, they don't go to work every day in the best situations. They're working in some dark, seedy elements, uh, really dark, seedy people, criminals. And uh, they do a job, they do a dangerous job, and the last person they ever expected to let them down what was their city uh, not taking basic steps to protect their data. Steele says the FOP has worked hard to be more transparent since 2020. He feels the lack of transparency from the city is undermining the trust that they have fought hard to rebuild. What is the trust like right now between police and the city? I can tell you right now, the, the FOP is not going to forward any more information from, from the city to our members just to lack of cre credibility. We were told a couple weeks ago everything was fine, nothing was released, you're basically good. Now, I spoke to Connor Goodwolf. He told me that he will be consulting his attorneys. Today in the press conference, city attorney Zach Klein says that his office hasn't heard from Goodwolf. Goodwolf showed us the previous calls he made on August 13th to the city attorney's office. He told us the office said that they know the information is out there and they thanked him for calling. Reporting live in the studio, Tara Jabor, 10TV News.